Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm contemplating whether or not to even do this. I don't know. Should I do this? I don't know. But uh, it's like 55 degrees out here. And I could either go flounder gigging or I could go home. Flounder gigging, go home. Let's go flounder gigging. Yeah, I'm just using a, uh, a frog gig on a broomstick handle, a 3000 lumen light underwater LED, just a regular old backpack and a 12 volt uh, motorcycle battery, which powers the light. That's all I'm using. Now I'm doing this just for fun, guys. Like I'm, I'm not expecting anything. I just got off work early and was like, all right, let's go. Now I'm guessing all the flounder went up into the creeks because this water temp feels feels in the 60s, so it, they could be here. That's what I would do. If I was a flounder, I'd say, see it. Go get somewhere where it's warm and where the bait is. Oh, there's one. Maybe they're here. Yeah, there's a flounder right here. There's a flounder. Right there. Little baby. Nice. See if we get him to move. He's sleeping. They don't want to move. Man, he is sleeping. Oh, he's gone. All right, so they're here. Last time I came out here, and it pouring, pouring rain. This is like perfect visibility. There's a flounder right here. All right, we're at 15 and a half. That's a keeper. I mean, I already knew it was gonna be a keeper because I'm familiar with doing this. I do this all the time. So I knew, judging from my boot size, that this was gonna be above legal limit. Wow, this is the only way I could video myself. <laughs> but in the state of Florida, scary. But in the state of Florida, uh, the flounder have to be uh, 14 inches total length. Our flounder is 15 and a half, and uh, we're gonna continue to keep going. Let's go, we're getting some flounder in the bag. Here's another one, but I think this one's definitely too small. That's too small. Now here's another one. Don't be that guy, you know what I mean? If, if it looks iffy, questionable, don't just stab first and then ask questions later. Take it out of the water, you know, or don't just stab first and ask questions later. Like, judge it from your shoe size. Is it bigger than your shoe? And if you know what your, <laughs> if, if you know what your shoe size is, then uh, you should judge it off that, like inch per inch. Uh, right now I got one in front of me, right? Uh, there's one right here. He's right here. I believe that, I believe that to be a keeper but just on 14. Ah, sorry. 
trying to video myself. I believe that to be a keeper, but it was just on 14. So I wasn't too sure, so I did not stab it. I just let it go. So here's another one. I mean, that's not even ankle deep water. I don't know if you can see that guy or not, but that's not even ankle deep water. That's about, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Once I put my boot next to him, it kind of disappears. But I think it's only 13 inches, so I'm not going to stab it. This water is so shallow. This is crazy. This is where they like to hang out, man, ankle deep. ambush predators wait for something to swim over it like I could put my boot right next to it and nothing happens they don't even move it's like they're not even there yeah here's another little guy I think well it's where one was this one might actually be legal hold on yeah, this one's legal. We're gonna go in for the, uh... Yeah, just for video's sake, I really don't know how well you can even see that. I'll try to zoom in as best I can. He's over 14. He's about 14 and a half. Maybe that's awesome. Yeah. Just so you guys know, I do use the end of my gig to put them out of their misery, and then I put them in these bags so they're not flopping around. And so he's dead. So I'm just gonna put it in my bag, and we're gonna keep going. If you can see that light, it's to the left of that light. Here, I'll move the light away. I mean, it's pretty clear here. I'll see if it'll swim away. That way you can get a shot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a little baby. There are tons and tons of baby mullet here. That's great to see. Lots of mullet. Check out this family of uh, hermit crabs. Wow. Well, that was an eventful day. Holy cow, man. I was not expecting that. Well, we got into two flounder. I uh, saw about eight or nine. I can't even remember how many. I lost count. That was incredible uh, for me. I wasn't even planning on going. I said, you know what? I got off work. Let's just do it. It's very cold out here. I didn't think we'd even see any, but we ended up seeing a lot. So um, anyway, don't be that guy. You know, don't just stab the flounder. I'm very used to it. I know what they look like. I know the size that they're supposed to be. Just don't go up and just stab any flounder. But yeah, I, I just use a frog gig on a, um, just a broomstick, basically. I just put it in there and I'm, I've got a 3000 lumen light, which I got online. It's underwater uh, LED. And I uh, just carry a, a 12 volt battery in a, in a backpack not even waterproof backpack. I just walk and just gigging and you can see all sorts of wildlife. Could be at home, uh, doing nothing, sitting on the couch while everybody's sleeping or you could be out around, you know, midnight or so and 
catch you a bunch of uh, dinner for tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I know Hannah likes flounder, so might be the Valentine's Day dinner. We don't know yet. We don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please do me a favor, uh, hit the like button, share, or subscribe. It really does help my channel out. And uh, I'd like to make more videos for you guys. So if my channel can launch, then, um, well, we'll have a bunch more videos. If you don't like this kind of video, uh, there's much, much more videos coming uh, with uh, fishing and um, all sorts of, all sorts of fishing. Anyway, I'm freezing. Thank you again. Keep it reeling, guys. We'll see you next time.